right, guys, so I'm going to be talking about the PJPT. I took it last week. I passed it on August the 8th. just want to kind of go over some kind of tips and tricks to help you guys get through and then what to kind of expect on the exam. This is not going to be like a hidden gem, like here's how you pass it, like do this, this, and this. It's just kind of like what steps to follow to get you through and pass on your first attempt. I'll be honest with you, I failed on my first attempt. <laughs> Man... You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> not from lack of being able to get the domain controller, but not going in as much detail in the written report as I should have. So, which we'll go over kind of the report too that they give you to kind of work as a template. So if you're on TCM Security's website and you're interested in taking the PG or PJPT test, you'll see here it's learn how to hack and then prove it. Kind of their motto you know yeah you can have all the skills in the world but here's your chance to show them how it's actually done this is nothing like a ctf like if you guys do try hack me hack the box where you get like you know the thm curly bracket like sentence or whatever you need to plug in to get an answer this is like a legitimate um inside the network penetration test like you would do as a professional penetration tester for companies to test their network security so on tcm site their price for this exam, when I got it, I think it was two forty nine. Let me see, yeah, two forty nine <clears throat> is the cost of the exam. With this, this includes the course that you need, which is the PEH course. It's over twenty five hours, and you will have lifetime access to that. So, <clears throat> say three four years down the road, you go back and you want to look, and they've updated the course or just added new material, you will still have access to that. Personally, I do the monthly membership so I can have access to all their courses. Um, I've done, this is my 10th certification that I've gained in uh, about two years now. So uh, their training and testing is probably bar none above and beyond most of the training I've dealt with. Even CompTIA's proctored exams, CEH's proctored exams. Um, the environment that TCM provides is really stable and just really user friendly. And this exam is not proctored. You do have two days to complete the testing portion to gain access to the domain controller, which it has here. Once you do that and you hit, you know, you're done with your test or whatever, then you have two full days to write and submit your report to them for your grade and to see if you pass or fail. So again, it's not proctored. So if you need a break, need to get up and go eat. Uh, if you're working like me, I worked day shift. So I was limited on my time to get this done, so after work, I'd come back, log back in, and get back to doing the test. It's also great if you get stuck. Um, I'll be honest, I got stuck for about five hours on one spot, and that was just on me. You know, just be sure you do really good enumeration and kind of really drill down and look into the results that you have to lead you where you need to be. Um, what helped me that day was just walking away, eating a little dinner, then coming back and getting back into it. So, um, you do get one exam attempt with a price, but you also get one free retake. So like I said, with me, you know, I got the domain controller, but I was failed on my report. So I got to fix that and resubmit it all for free. And then got my results back after that in probably three or four hours roundabout. So, uh, system requirements, uh, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig hard drive. If you're running a virtual machine, like Kelly Linux and stuff, and it's trying to find you're going to be okay. So we'll go, let's go back one page. Talks about lifetime training. Like I was saying, realistic exam. This is what you would see in the real world, doing a penetration test on the Active Directory environment for a business. So uh, support is pretty good. I reached out <clears throat> for an issue, and I had an answer probably within 15, 20 minutes, give or take. And they also offer diff discounts for military veterans, students, teachers, first responders, and it has a 20% coupon. And sometimes uh, Heath will post on uh, LinkedIn and places like that, Discord, that they're offering discounts. So if you get a chance, jump on that and save you a little money if you don't meet one of these other discount requirements. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and kind of jump in and talk about the course a little bit. So the course that you get <clears throat> is the PH ethical hacking course and it's a full course starting kind of from the basics you know just set up your lab machines what to kind of expect how to take good notes um network refresher how networks work ip addresses mac addresses this course is really good for 
really getting started in ethical hacking, but for the exam itself, your main focus needs to be on the Active Directory section, <clears throat> which we'll scroll down. Starts here, Active Directory Overview, Lab Overview, Lab Build. You will want to set up these labs that Heath goes through, setting up your machines, your own domain controller, uh, and installing the tools that they provide. So <clears throat> it says attacking Active Directory Initial Attack Vectors. So <clears throat> when you go through this course, like one, I'll give you kind of the top three things that you need to do. Number one, complete this course. Go through the Active Directory section. Take really good notes for number two. Repeat, re like rinse and repeat over and over. Go through this section multiple times until you're comfortable doing it and you can almost do it in your sleep. Everything you need to pass this test is in this Active Directory section and it's provided by Heath. Listen to what he says, take his notes, and I promise you'll pass. Like I said, just be an effective note taker. Keep going over them, keep practicing in your labs. If something isn't working, see if maybe you've mistyped something, maybe you misspelled or maybe the toll was installed in the wrong place. You can always reach out on their Discord server as well. There's good help that you can get from other members there. So like I said, really focus Active Directory section here. Rinse and repeat over and over and over until you know it like the back of your hand. So once you complete the course, if you want to complete it, like I said, it's all up to you. Just for this test, though, you only need the Active Directory section. Once you, If you do the whole entire course, though, if you'll look, you'll get a certificate of completion. So this is uh, the date from today because I just went ahead and finished up because the lab environment that they go over in the course, which is this, like the cross-site script and stuff like that, this is kind of like their bug bounty course that's taught by Alex uh, Olson. So some of these I've already taken, so I went through and just marked as complete. So once you pass the PJPT course, you will receive the certificate of saying that you passed and you're a practical junior penetration tester. So like I said, I took it August 8th, so I received it that night, my certificate. So <clears throat> go back. So let's talk a little bit about the exam. So like I said, this is an internal penetration test that you're doing. So you'll kind of start off, they'll give you the information that you need, like kind of your roles of engagement, like you would on any pen test, what you can and can't do and kind of what's off limits, what your scope is and you got to stay within scope just the same way you would on a business pen test. It will also give you access to the internal network through a VPN connection. But they give you directions on how to access that. If you're not familiar with how to use a VPN, they give you the steps to do it through Kali Linux. So just follow that verbatim and you'll be fine. And then talk a little bit about the report. So Heath has a um, demo report on his GitHub. It's free to download, free to <clears throat> alter and how to use it however you need it. So with your report, you have the option to use their sample pen test that they give you the report, or you can do your own layout. It's whatever's easiest and comfortable for you. So I think this is the report. Port security, I think it's this one. Yeah, example two. So on here, you can do view raw, but you're going to do copy path or you want to do download. And you want to download this to your computer. Which I'll go ahead and do this and then I'll show you what that looks like. That. Okay, let me get this pulled up and drag it over. Okay. So this is the demo that they'll give you to build off of. Um, you can use their logo and stuff on here that's already built in. You can see this one's already 30 pages, but it has the table of contents for you. Like some of the findings they failed or found that a company had failed that they'd run this test against for. Confidential statement, uh, statement, disclaimer, contact information. Let's see. So like I said, you can go in here and edit this because you you're going to have to edit it for your exam, for your PJPT, your testing summary, which is your executive summary, overlay, vulnerability summary, report card, like screenshots. Um, screenshots is very important. Pretty much screenshot every step that you do. And if it works, it doesn't work, whatever, take a screenshot, put it in a report. Just make sure you give all the information that you have. Something that's helpful too is kind of copy with the layout that they have for their screenshots. Like if they have this one here and it says 
clear text password them. You can do that. You can right click and you can replay change picture and pick the screenshot that you've saved. So just it goes all the way through. And Heath does a great job going over this and stuff when you're going through the exam and through the training. So you'll see all these uh, screenshots that are done so you'll know where you're looking and how to find them. So, okay, scroll through. Um, let me go over the tool that's good that you can use. So Heath and them have a guy that works for them. I think it's DeWalt is the name. And he is, he's built a loadout for a Kali Linux virtual machine that will install all the tools that you need to pass this exam. Let me this. If you'll go to Google and just type in pimp my Kali and GitHub. And you'll see DeWalt Arch Pimp My Kali Kali Linux fixes. So open that up. Do code. You can copy this and do git clone inside your Kali Linux machine to run and install this. Heath covers this in his training video, so I'm not really going to go into that. You can do it when you do the course, but it has it here. So if you like the commands are right here. Git clone, how to install it, and then you'll change directory into it. And then you'll run it, which is a bash script. And then you'll just install it from there, and it will download all the tools into your uh, folder. I install this in the opt folder. Um, let's, let's see if they have that. Uh, I think he suggests that go uh, change directory to your opt folder and install Pit My Kelly there, and then run the bash script to install it to work with. Okay, once you have that, you submit it. You're pretty much good to go. Uh, in Linux, I use a tool called Flameshot to do my screenshots. Uh, for this exam, particularly, I actually done the um, screenshot that's built in with Windows. It's just called Snipping Tool. So. If you don't have it, you can do search, do snipping tool, and it'll pull it up. And then you would just pick what you're trying to save and draw your line around it, and it'll save it. So you have the option you can draw if you want to mark something on there. You also have highlighter if you wanted to highlight something you found. So it's really good. There's also one out uh, I just learned over recently. It's called Greenshot. Similar to Flameshot, I haven't installed it yet, but I do intend to. So I'm just a green shot. It's free, it's open source. You just do download now for Windows. I don't believe it's compatible with Linux. I think the option for Linux is Flameshot, then Windows is green shot. So if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, guys, I mean just reach out down below. I'll help you out any way I can. Like I said, just Go through the course, take really good notes. Uh, I'm kind of old school. I wrote everything down on paper and then went back and used uh, Microsoft Word to take my notes for the Active Directory section. Um, I'll show you that. And I just labeled everything, like what section we were going on, all the steps and stuff in it. So this is what I used to kind of my go-to during the exam if I needed to. We'll go through my methodology, like what steps to follow, what to try, what the command was, what switches I needed to implement. So you have, everybody has their own way of doing things. Some people use Notion to take notes, which is really good. Some people use Cherry Tree and um, what's the other one? One something, I can't remember. One Drive or One Word or something like that. But like I said, I'm old school, notebook, pen, paper, and then type it up later if I need to. So... <clears throat> but other than that guys if you have any questions concerns thoughts just reach out either here or on linkedin but uh thank you for watching <laughs>